All right, y'all see all this goodness with the steam coming off? Fragrance, fragrance smell. Let me just be common. The smell coming from it is really good. That's really good, man. That is really, really good. My name is Steven Bardo, former Flying Illini and NBA point guard turned basketball analyst. I have traveled the world through basketball, and the one thing I have found is everyone loves food and sports. What's up, y'all? It's your man, Stephen Bardo, coming at you with another edition of America Loves Food and Sports. As you can see, we're not in a restaurant. We're in a South Loop location secured by vegan chef, Chef Whitney. And you guys know I'm a former professional athlete. Plant-based diets seem to be the hot and healthy thing right now. And I'm trying to learn as much as I can so I can be as healthy as I can. So I'm really looking forward to this episode with Chef Whitney to break down the ingredients and the food that she's gonna prepare for us in a vegan style. So let's get it cracking, y'all. Don't me a nibble, baby. I'm a bite back, big dog style. And I ain't had no sugar in a long while. I am pleased to be joined by Chef Whitney. Hi. Chef Whitney, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm really excited about this episode because uh, I think I was telling you before, I'm a former professional athlete mm -hmm. and I like to get the cutting edge. And it seems as though vegan plant-based foods are cutting edge now and people are really excited about it. Um, what, are we, what are we gonna be doing here this evening? So we've got a couple things going on here. Okay. We've got uh, a Thai zucchini pasta salad. It's gonna be like a little bit of a raw vegan feel. Okay. I like, it's like really refreshing. It doesn't take a lot of time, which is also really nice. I know a lot of people in the kitchen don't wanna, you know, spend all day in the kitchen. So sure. this is a nice like quick meal that you could kind of do. Okay. Then we're gonna do some fried oyster mushrooms. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Okay. And we also are going to do a creamy gnocchi, and then we're going to do some double chocolate chip cookies. Oh, wow. Double mm -hmm. chocolate. Not, not double single, cho double cho chocolate, chocolate, chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookies. And this is vegan now, so this is, this is all healthy. All vegan. Okay, so which one do well, you want? All healthy-ish. Okay, all right. So which one do you want to do first? Uh, actually, I think we should start with the salad. Let's get okay. the healthy stuff out of the way all first. Right. <laughs> okay, well, let me see what you got here. So we got the zucchini. I'm just going to turn some nice little noodles. Uh, I got my spiralizer here. Spiralizer. Mm -hmm. I got this from Amazon for about seven or eight dollars. Okay. Uh, oh there's God, one that's that. way fancier. Uh, I think it's about thirty dollars, but actually I like this one. Spiralizer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we we will put that in the yep. <laughs> uh, comment section so that you all can get this because I love this here. I was wondering how people did the squash oh, yeah. noodles and everything. Like, mm -hmm. how, you know, I was at the house trying to figure out with a knife, like, how am I doing this? And I, I didn't know what I was doing. So, here's a nice, quick way to just make some, you know, low carb pasta. And then you can, like, cook this. I usually don't, um, but you can definitely, like, cook it and treat it as, like, a, a pasta like spaghetti substitute. So, so, if you were to cook it, how would you, how would you prepare it? Um, just a regular way. You could just like saute it for maybe a minute or so. Okay. Yeah, because they're already pretty soft. All <laughs> like right. the zucchini itself is already pretty soft, so you only need to cook it for maybe one or two minutes over like grapeseed oil. Okay, so, oh, so grapeseed oil, because I think it's important to know, I think I read somewhere in that Chef Whitney, tell me if I'm right, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to cook with olive oil. You are not, actually. Olive oil is good for like your marinades and 
uh, salads and things like that, you are actually supposed to use like grapeseed oil or avocado oil or even sesame oil because you can cook with those without cooking out the minerals and messing with you know the nutrients that they do provide to you. So, uh, Chef Whitney, how did you get into cooking? What what was the impetus for you to get into cooking? Um, well, I actually went to culinary school. I went to the Illinois Institute of Art in downtown Chicago in 2008. Uh, cooking is something that I've always been really passionate about. Being from Chicago, like I'm a foodie. Like that's that's one of the main things we do in Chicago. That's we right. eat and we drink. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, that's right. so I take to both. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Okay. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Um. So I discovered that cooking was actually extremely therapeutic for me. Hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm all for, you know, self care. So I definitely, once I discovered that it was therapeutic, it was something that I just wanted to do all the time. Oh, okay. And then once I started to share my food with other people and see how much they enjoyed it, um, it just made me want to do it that much more. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. And so you have private clients, mm -hmm. right? That mm -hmm. you actually still cook meat for. I do. Yeah. One of my clients actually, um, I got him some stuff together today. He's pescatarian. Okay. So, um, and it's funny because I share it in my Insta story on Instagram and people are like, is that fish? I thought you were vegan. And I'm like, whoa. Oh, they, they jumped on you a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, whoa, this oh, is wow. for a client. I still accommodate, like, I don't force veganism down anybody's throat. So, you know, if, That's you, key. Still, yeah, if you still want your chicken, if you still want red meat or fish, like, that's totally fine, you know? So he's he's one of those people and, you know, I was making some catfish for him earlier today. People didn't like that too much. No, okay, well they can get over it. Cause they got they gotta get over yeah, it. Yeah, I like that, okay. Uh, these mushrooms, what are those again? These are oyster mushrooms. Golly. I love mushrooms, especially these, because they're such a great like meat substitute. Okay. And I know that when people are in the beginning stages of becoming like vegan or plant-based, that's what they that's look for. Key. They look for something that they can compare to like real meat. That's key. So I would compare mushrooms to something like a seafood texture. Like I know that it can be used to make like an imitation shrimp mm. or um, I actually use this for like a vegan crab boil. You have a vegan crab boil? Yeah. Okay, let's let's check me let's, out on this girl's yeah, grub yeah, Instagram. We, what, say it again. No, this tell girl's again. Grub Instagram. Her her shirt there, that's her Instagram plug, so <laughs> uh, check her out. Okay. So then so now you're doing the green onions. Yeah, so we're gonna cut up some green onion and we're gonna add that in there. And then we're gonna do some tomato. And y'all see her her nails on fleek. <laughs> I'm saying I don't know how you cook with the, <laughs> with some sharp nails like that. I mean, sharp as in nice looking nails. <laughs> uh, but you, you seem to be managing that with no problem. Yeah, I'm used to it. Okay, all right. And they, they you know, they've been, they've been growing with me because they're mine, so they weren't, oh, you they know, I, yours. yeah, I didn't go somewhere and just get them like put on and then I gotta like deal with long nails all of a sudden, mm, so. Okay. We're, we're like committed right now, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing each other. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you put that, okay. <laughs> Okay, good stuff. Um, let me ask you this. Sure. What was your impetus for going the vegan way? If I'm feeling good, if I had lost the weight that I wanted to lose, like, what do I need? Like, I know what chicken tastes like. I mm -hmm. know what fish tastes like. Like, I don't need that stuff anymore. Right. So, um, I wanted to just get back to the roots of just like fruit and vegetables. Mm. And that's, that's pretty much how I got started. So you said you had weight loss, mm -hmm. your skin got better. Mm -hmm you had increased energy mm -hmm. so like when you woke up in the morning you were ready, I was to, ready go. to go you, no sluggishness or anything no sluggishness no nothing i was literally ready for the day and so for those of you all that really don't look at or study vegan food these are very common side effects so to speak of changing your diet from you know regular american diet to plant-based increased energy skin is better i've heard people that have had lifelong constipation issues that goes away mm -hmm. i've heard allergies go away eczema uh skin disorders hair gets uh healthier and so this is something i really encourage you all to think think about i'm not trying to get anybody to change from their diet to vegan but i think if you can add plant-based meals to what you're doing i think it will help and for those that are like me who want to be optimal with our health um this is something that i'm definitely thinking about and then I'm going to uh, check out. Um, 
By chance, do you work with any uh, athletes or former athletes or anything like that? I actually did used to cook for uh, Aaron Williams. He used to play for the Clippers. I know do you know him? Yeah, okay, I'm like, yeah, I saw yeah. that smile. Like, do you know him? I yeah, know I cooked for him for quite some time, actually. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And that, he must have he must been cooking good because he, he's got a body like Adonis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man. Aaron, Aaron Williams used to play with the Clippers. The, yeah. <laughs> the Jersey Nets played with uh, Xavier in high school and he's from mm -hmm. the Chicagoland area still he's lives here he is uh man he was tough his body was always in shape he was a, a consummate professional so uh man that that makes me feel pretty good okay so wait a minute you just you did the sesame oil go yep, ahead I got some sesame oil in here I also added some fresh basil and cilantro and spinach okay um and then we're gonna add the sesame seeds in here and I'm gonna mix this all up okay and it'll be done that sounds, uh, now are you, uh, do you do any fasting? All the time. See, I knew, I knew it. I, I, and I'm starting to get into fasting myself. <laughs> and people think you fast for food purposes, which you do, but uh, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. Uh, did you find that to be the case as well when you fasted that you yeah. got some clarity in, oh, in terms yeah. of mental clarity and whatnot? Yeah, absolutely. I always tell people that um, when I do my fastings and even when I tra transition to a vegan diet, like I felt closer to God than I ever have in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so that clarity is definitely there when you don't have all of the added chemicals that you're putting into your body. Sure. Because um, they're not taking care of these animals. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they're not taking care of them. That's just the reality. Well, and the mass production of the food yeah. uh, industry is it, it's almost impossible to do. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, you know, it makes a difference. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. All so right. we're gonna mix this up really quick, and then this will be all done, and we can move on to the fried oyster mushrooms. Don't me a nibble, baby. I'm a bite back, big dog style, and I ain't had no sugar in a long while. I typically like to uh, leave some for my esteemed gentleman Nick and, and Pablo, but okay. <laughs> depending on how this tastes, y'all might not get any because um, it looks wonderful. And you see, I'm getting a big bite. That's a real deal. <laughs> She's got sesame seeds for texture. The squash and the cucumber mix beautifully together. Remember, she said the squash and the cucumber have plenty of water in it. So it really um, is a refreshing, refreshing meal. Man, this is excellent. Okay, what we got next? Because I'm right, gonna so sit here you're, like, you're like, I'm gonna be eating yeah. and you can move on to the next thing. That's right. All right. So uh, we're gonna do some fried oyster mushrooms. So, uh oh, let me get rid of my little timer here. Mm -hmm. So I did kind of like a wet batter, Ooh, which good. is basically just water and then some spelt flour. I don't use white or wheat flour. I use spelt flour or garbanzo bean flour or teff flour because they are better for your digestive system. Mm. Um, they cost a little bit more and you are getting a little bit less, but it definitely makes a big difference when it comes to like your health. Okay. So people always say, you know, like, oh, vegan is expensive. And it's like, have you seen a hospital bill for somebody with diabetes? Uh, say it again. Cancer. Like, have you seen those bills? Amen. They are beating college tuition payment. You know what I mean? Like, real. they're super expensive. That's a great point. Um. So, yeah, I have like a wet batter and it's just water and spelt flour. Then I have my dry batter, which is just plain old spelt flour. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to add like a little bit of hot sauce into this just to give it like a nice little bit of a kick. All right. And then we're gonna add into the dry batter, we're gonna do some Old Bay seasoning, just to give it kind of like a seafood taste. Oh, with the oyster mushroom? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and dip these in. Okay, you're dipping the o uh, oyster, oyster mushrooms, mushrooms in the- Into the wet batter. In the wet batter, mm -hmm. okay. We're gonna try to squeeze as many in here as we can. When looking out they like that, with your body on snack. Don't me a nibble, baby. I'm a bite back, big dog style. And I ain't had no sugar in a long while. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to try this without hot sauce. And I'm going to try it with hot sauce. And I am looking forward to this because we are always interested in meat substitutes for people who like to do their meat. So you know what? I'm just going to eat this whole thing. Ooh. I'm looking at that heat. <laughs> It was hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. 
What? Mm. <laughs> All right, what do we have next? So next we're gonna do a creamy gnocchi and it's gonna have some mushrooms and onion and some crispy kale. I like love creamy gnocchi. I feel like every time I eat it, I'm like taking a bath on the inside. <laughs> wow, taking a bath on the inside? Yeah, like, cause I make like a nice sauce with it, like a nice mm. vegan cheddar sauce. Okay. And it's got like some smoky flavors. Um, the gnocchi itself is just so warm and it's like a comfort food, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel like I'm getting like a little bit of cheesy gravy and then some cover and then like I love mushrooms. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. All right, now how are you gonna prepare this? So first I'm gonna saute the red onion until they're translucent. And then we're gonna add some uh, vegan butter in here. All we got is time. Yeah, yeah, said all we got is time. All right, y'all see all this goodness with the steam coming off? Fragrance, fragrance smell. Let me just be common. The smell coming from it is really good. That's really good, man. That is really, really good. I love the onion and what else? I'm tasting the cheese. Mm hmm. Probably that's the cheese is good. Mm hmm. Wow, man, I, I like this. <laughs> like this a lot. Very, very good job. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And we got we, one more thing. Got one more. We got some chocolate chocolate chip cookies that we're gonna do. Okay. One of my favorites. Soft and silky, golden brown, yeah. Watch it, baby, hold it now, hey. Where you think you're going, looking naughty like that? With your body on stay. Hey. Don't me a nibble, baby. I'm it looks like the cookies are done. They are. Let's check are it out. Excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Because <laughs> I can smell them. You can smell them. Yeah, okay, they smell so smell good. all the double chocolate mix, yeah. vegan chocolate chipness. <laughs> so you want to do this again? Put the parchment paper together. Yep, some yep. of that teamwork. There we yeah. go. There oh, we go. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> Never do this. You don't want to eat cookie with a fork, but I'm just starving. And it smells so no, good. No, it's like being classy. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> My brother and sister would like dog me out if I was eating a cookie with a fork. That is so good. <laughs> If I didn't watch you create these, you wouldn't believe me, would you? I wouldn't. I would think they were regular cookies. Nice and moist. And yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really good. And I like the the nuts with it. You like you do the texture thing, don't mm -hmm. you? Mm-hmm. Like I'm big on crunchy, sweet. Like I need more than one thing going on with my food. I need a couple of things because I want to appreciate, you know, it's like the five flavor, things the texture, the here. colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> five good things. Yeah. All working very very well together. Wow. Well, what an experience. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Chef Whitney. Thank you. Um, tell the people where we can find you. This Girl's Grub on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. I'm everywhere at thisgirlsgrub.com. Okay. <laughs> I'm, and, I'm and, everywhere. And you do, you do um, private situations as well? Yeah, I do private, uh, like dinner for two, mm -hmm. um, meal plans. I do some catering. Classes, definitely private classes are my favorite. Um, so if you're also interested in learning, then I'm here for you. Like I've been here for you. And you've been an amazing sous chef. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's been great payment to get to eat yeah. this great food. There you know you what go. I'm saying? There you go. Watch it, baby. Hold it now. Hey. Well, I'm sad to say that our episode is over of me being a sous chef with Chef Whitney. So thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. This was great. And happy birthday to you coming up later this week. 33 years young, looking good as ever. And the skin is glowing because she's on a plant-based vegan diet. So I hope you guys 
enjoyed this and you learned something from this because this is really important. I think it's something that all of us can take something from. That'll do it for this edition of America Loves Food and Sports. I'm your man, Steven Bardo. Until next time, peace.